What does it take to redesign a Chevy Malibu into a hybrid vehicle? A group of UW engineering students is finding out by participating in the EcoCar 2 competition as part of their senior design or capstone project. EcoCar 2 is a three year long automotive engineering competition where 15 universities across the continent uh, are challenged to build a consumer acceptable plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. That's sponsored by the Department of Energy and General Motors primarily. And the goals are to convert a gasoline powered vehicle into an electrified vehicle and particularly a plug-in hybrid vehicle. The car we're building has to look like something that's going to come off of a, a dealership lot. EcoCar 2 is really all about the application of the skills that we're learning in other mechanical engineering courses. So in the first year of the competition, which we've just completed, we were involved in the design phase, convincing the engineers at GM and the Department of Energy that we have a sound design, that we can actually build our design. <laughs> so that's the challenge. So the senior design project that we formulated was to come up with a team that would actually design the rear cradle that will hold the electric motor in the back and convince me that we can actually do it. And they came up with a design that, that passed many design reviews and GM was really happy with. In the front of the vehicle, we'll have a gasoline engine, actually a diesel engine, and in the rear of the vehicle, we'll have an electric motor. You can drive the car with the diesel engine or the electric motor or both. The other schools in the competition have selected different architectures. We need to make sure that at the highest level everything can work together. This year the students applied for and received funding from the college's capstone fund. We've been doing a lot of design in year one, but year two is where we really get to implement our design, we get to build it. In the classroom with all your other homework and stuff, that's all theoretical, that's all best case scenario, but really implementing this in the real world, you run into problems you never thought you'd find, and when you have to solve those problems on the fly, and that's really what 495 is all about. Right now, we're just starting our manufacturing and fabrication phase, where we custom build the parts that we need for the car. Students in this capstone project have gained more than just real world experience. Now the competition provides us with lots of tools that we need and one of them is the software that we need to do the, our designs. But they didn't provide us with the computers we need to run them. We use some of the student funding to do that. Students in this capstone project have gained more than just real world experience. Very early on we've been contacted by companies, automobile companies, who are involved in designing new hybrid vehicles. They want to hire our students. It's a win-win situation all the way around. First of all, society benefits because we're going to be reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Second, the university gains. We are able to give our engineering students a education that would not be available otherwise. And thirdly, the industry gains. They will have access to a group of students who are familiar with automobile technology that is unprecedented. Being able to build a product and then show that in a resume or talk about it in an interview and des describe uh, the thought process that you went through when you were designing that. This is the kind of real world experience that employers are looking for. Weighing the pros and cons of each decision that you make and, and overcoming these challenges, that's what this project and that's what real engineering is all about and I think they mix very well. I really want to say thank you to the alumni. Your, your guys' funding to our project really helps us have some really unique experiences. That this is probably the best place to put your money if you want to have an impact on students and on the environment and on the future. The funding from the, the alumni, that really helps to get you fired up about really designing something and getting to build something.